Hi there, this is Sally Jo from Sally Social Marketing and in today's short video I want to show you how you can reduce the cost of your Facebook advertising just by tweaking your target audience. So here's the thing, if you don't get your targeting right, this is what's going to happen. You'll get no engagement, no likes, no comments, no shares. And that means Facebook will think your ad is no good, ready for the bin. And that means you're going to get charged a lot more for that advert. And you don't want that. So the trick is to make sure your targeting is absolutely spot on. So you get all those lovely comments and shares and Facebook reduces the cost of your ad and happy days. Okay, so how do you do this? Well, I'm gonna dive straight into Facebook and show you some of the things that you can do. So let's pretend that you sell vegan ice cream and you're looking to promote it using Facebook and perhaps Instagram as well. One of the first things I recommend that you do is that you nail down who you want to target because Facebook is gonna ask you for that information when you come to create the ad. Okay, so what do you need to do first? We're gonna pop into Facebook right now and I'll show you exactly what you need to do. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is log into Facebook and you want to head down to um, Manage Ads. And this will take you into your ad manager. Once you're in your ad manager, you need to pop up here to the hamburger menu. And then you want to select all tools and then audience insights. So if you're having trouble or you're not achieving much success with Facebook, what happens is a lot of people say, oh, Facebook doesn't work. In actual fact, what's happening is the targeting's not correct or it might be the creative, the images that you're using or the video that you're using in your ad might not be matched up to your audience. So don't throw the baby out with the dishwasher water, as we say, go back into Facebook ads or certainly the ads manager and come here, come into the audience insights menu and go through the work that I'm about to show you. So just going back to our business, we are selling a vegan ice cream. So what we can do in audience insights is start to build up a profile of our audience that we want to target by accessing the database that Facebook has collected over all those years of people who have shown an interest on Facebook to vegan ice cream or um, businesses that are offering something similar. And what we can do is we can look at the profile of those people, but also have a look to see some of the other things that they're interested in. And then we can use that information in our targeting. So once you're in Audience Insights, it's going to pop up with a selection here to choose an audience to start. You want to click on everyone on Facebook. Okay, so what you've got in front of you here, is this just de defaults to the Facebook global profile of all the people on Facebook. On the left hand side, it's where you can input all your criteria for the types of people that you're looking for. And then the right hand side of the screen, this is going to bring back the information or the data within Facebook. So the first thing that we need to do is I want to look at people within the United Kingdom. So in order to do that, I need to remove the United States. And that's going to clear that field. And then I want to input United Kingdom. Okay, so what we can see here, according to Facebook's data, there's between 35 and 45 million people on Facebook within the United Kingdom. Now, my target consumer, my ideal customer, because I've done my homework, is a female and she's aged between 25 and 34. So we're going to select that age bracket here and she is female. So what you can see here is that Facebook has brought back some data to say, okay, you've got 25 to 34 year olds within that selection and they actually count for between four and a half point, 
four and a half to five million people. So there are four and a half to five million females within Facebook or on Facebook within that age profile of 25 to 34 year olds. So that's a good start, okay. But we want to look at people who are specifically or have shown an interest within vegan nutrition. So let's start with that first. We don't want to market our vegan ice cream to everybody it's only going to be really interesting to those people who've shown an interest in veganism, yeah? So one thing we can do is in the interests interest field here, we can type in vegan, and as you type, you'll see suggestions being um, displayed by Facebook. So we've got a couple here, we've got veganism, vegan nutrition, go vegan, etc. So if we select one of those items, let's see what happens. So I'm gonna select veganism. Now, as you can see, things are happening over here in the right hand side, and that's brought our audience down to 1.5 to 2 million people. So this is saying that within Facebook, there are up to 2 million people, and this isn't not exact, but broadly speaking, there's about 2 million females within that age group who were specified an interest in veganism. So we could say, okay, that's great. That's who we're going to target our ad to. So a couple of things that you can do here is you can save this audience to use later and then you can drop it into your ad when you're creating the ad. And this is a really good thing that I encourage my clients to do because you're doing the work up front and it just saves time later on. So we give this a name, vegan females UK. So we know, we know who it is we're targeting between the ages of 25 and 34. And then we click save and Facebook will save that for you. Now you might be thinking to yourself, oh, the other next thing I need to add into this mix are people who like ice cream. And if you did that, you would be making a mistake because what you're going to do is bring up people within the age group of 25 to 34 who love ice cream or, or who have expressed an interest in ice cream. But a proportion of those won't be interested in veganism. So we're gonna leave that now and we'll add that in later into the ad itself. The other great thing that we can do with this information is we can go and have a look and see what these people also like because we can use that information when it comes to setting up our ad as well. And it's always good to build a profile of your ideal customer or your audience as your building your marketing plans because you need to be so targeted in order to keep your costs really low. So the next thing I'm going to have a look at, let's just scroll down here. Let's have a look at the marital status of these people or the relationship status. So there are a smaller proportion um, on uh, who are single, but the majority of these uh, this group of females are either in a relationship or they're engaged. And it's really interesting to see that um, a smaller proportion of them are married. And if you look at their education level, we can also see that a high proportion of these this group of females have been to college or have been to grad school. So that's usually university. And then as we scroll down, we can also see what job titles or what the types of jobs that they're in. So Again, starting from the top, because this is ranked, we can see a lot of these people are, no surprise actually, into healthcare and medical services. They might be working in um, education and libraries, but uh, you can see as you scroll down here, the types of jobs that they're in. Now, it doesn't stop there. The other great thing we can do is we can have a look at the page like, so we can go in and see, okay, so what pages has this group of females light within Facebook and then we can use that in our targeting as well. So again it's starting to build up a profile of our ideal audience. So these are some of the top pages and top categories that they've liked. So Imperial Candles, uh, My Rocking Kids, uh, Source, Crystal, so Crystally, um, they love bows, boutiques, so yeah, that helps us to build a profile, Bobby Brown, cosmetics. 
And then further down here, again, it just gives each one of these categories or pages an affinity score. And the higher the score, as you can see here, the more likely your audience is to like this type of page. Now, one thing I like to do is to go into these pages and just have a look at the types of things they're posting because if they're liking this content, it tells me that they, if I produce similar content, then they will potentially like my content as well. So let's go into Bows and Boutiques. And what you can do is you can simply press Command or Control and then click on the link there and, and it will open up into a new tab. So we can scroll down here and have a look at some of the things that this company is posting. So this tells me it's quite a young audience. Let's have a look and see uh, one of the other pages. So let's have a look at Source. Okay, so they're a food and beverage company. It looks like they are, are they an alcoholic beverage? In fact, they don't actually have a brand story, which is interesting. Let's click on their about page, find out something more about them. Okay, the Singy fruit flavored liqueur that you can drink straight or mixed in pitchers and long drinks. Okay, so this tells me about the type of personality. They're quite fun, this brand, um, they're quite young. If I'm gonna be marketing my ice cream, then this is really gonna help me position my brands within the marketplace so that it appeals to this group of, uh, group of females as well. So what do you do with this information? Well, first of all, you can take a screenshot or write it down and make some notes. That's what I like to do. I like to build up a customer profile rather on a sheet of paper and then I've got that. And then when I come to create my ad, ad, I can drop in this information. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. Okay, so I'm in one of my ad accounts and I'm going to create a new campaign. So the first campaign that I would always encourage you to run if you need to build your audience is a like campaign. So I'm going to send traffic to my Facebook page for them to like it and then I'm going to engage with them once they're on there and then I can do some further marketing with them. Okay so the first thing that I need to do is decide what my marketing objective is going to be and for a like campaign we need to select engagement. Now you might create a different objective but for the purposes of showing you how to drop in your target audience I'm going to use this engagement objective. So we're going for page likes, we'll just leave that campaign name as it is, and then we're going to set up ad account. So the first thing it asks for is your ad set name. I'm not going to go into how you complete a ad set up in this video, but um, for the purposes of showing you this target audience uh, video, I just want to give you a bit more information. So normally the ad set, well the ad set name refers to the audience group. I'm gonna leave that blank for now and come back to that. I'm going to select the Facebook page and we are going to select a an audience. So I'm going to use a saved audience and that's my vegan females that I created earlier on. What we need to do is narrow this audience down so we're not targeting just people who are interested in veganism, we're also going to target people who are interested in veganism and ice cream. So they have to match both of those sets of criteria. In order to do that, you need to come down to narrow audience and that's what we're doing. We're going to narrow the audience down. So we simply type in ice cream. Then we hit select and update the audience. So what this is going to do is send our ad to the people specified within the age bracket, but also to people who are interested in veganism and ice cream. Okay, so let's see what that does to our overall audience size. It brings it down to just over half a million people. Okay, once we've got the ad working for us, we can then push it out to more people. But I think that's really good target audience to aim for and that's going to help us reach somewhere between three and just over eight and a half thousand people a day. So hopefully that explains how important targeting is and but how easy it is once you've got a bit more information.